The Toast Tree by Karina Martin. This is a book by an Indigenous author and she's telling a story from her childhood. At the back of the book, she's written a little blurb about where the story came from. And she says that she grew up believing the toast tree is real. You can make your own decision about whether or not the toast tree is real. Here's the dedication. It says, for my grandmother, Ursula Grace Martin, who baked the bread, and for my grandfather, Vincent Chirala Martin, a magnificent, strong man who kept us children believing he was magical. For my second grandson, Kingston Leo Martins. Ella and Mia live in a small, dusty town surrounded by the sea. Every afternoon when their grandfather comes home from work, he brings them a very special treat. Today, when Grandpa gets to the gate, Ella asks, Did he bring us toast from the toast tree? Grandpa opens his lunchbox and pulls out two pieces of toast. The toast from the special tree tastes like no other toast in the world. When Ella and Mia bit into the delicious golden brown squares, creamy honey dribbled down their chins. That night, the girls asked Grandpa to tell them the story of the toast tree. The toast tree grows in the sand dunes, said Grandpa. It is a magical tree with bright green leaves and pieces of golden brown toast hang from every branch. The next day, while their grandparents were fishing, the girls decided to search for the magical tree. Ella and Mia ran up and down the sand dunes, but they could not find a tree with golden brown toast hanging from every branch. Instead, they found a bush with beautiful green flowers shaped like a bird. The girls sucked on the yellow cream that dripped from the flowers. Yum! It tastes just like honey, Ella said. When Grandpa saw the girls picking the flowers, he was very sad. There'll be no honey left for the birds, he said. We were just looking for the toast tree, said Ella. I am the only one who can pick the toast from the tree. The magic will stop if you find it, said Grandpa. I don't want the magic tree to stop, cried Mia. I want more toast. Then you must let the toast tree make more toast. Go and see if your grandmother has caught any fish and I will see what I can find, said Grandpa. Ella and Mia ran back down the dunes. Later, when Ella saw Grandpa walking up the beach, she called out, Are you hiding something? Grandpa showed the girls what he had behind his back. It was two pieces of creamy, thick toast. After that day, whenever Ella and Mia went to the beach, they searched for the tree with golden brown toast hanging from every branch. And you know what? They never found it. On this page is some information about the author and the illustrator. I'm not going to read it out to you, but you can see the author with her two daughters, Ella and Mia. They were the characters in this book. And on the right is the illustrator, Fern Martins.